Not many people had a 2020 to remember, but Erling Haaland certainly did. In fact, since scoring nine goals in a single game at the 2019 Under-20 World Cup, the Norwegian goal machine has smashed record after record on his way to becoming one of the most prolific strikers in Europe at just 20 years of age. A hat-trick on his Champions League debut was followed by another hat-trick on his first appearance in a Borussia Dortmund shirt. The youngest player to score 10 Champions League goals and also the quickest player to do so, needing just seven appearances in the competition to reach double figures. In 2020 alone, Haaland has scored 39 times in 37 games for club and country and was named European Golden Boy in November 2020. So we've decided to boot up Football Manager to see if a Ballon d'Or would follow. My name is Dave Azapardi, I'm a Football Manager YouTuber and we're going to be simming into the future on FM21, running through a few seasons to see how soon Erling Haaland would become a Ballon d'Or winner or which players would get into his way. As you can see, we're at the start of the 2020-2021 season and here's how Erling Haaland looks at the start of the game. All attributes on Football Manager are rated out at 20 and as you can see, some fantastic attributes on Haaland and he has all the attributes to becoming a top world-class striker. After season one at Dortmund, you can already see some of his attributes growing and Haaland getting much, much better as a player. He had a good season, smashing in 26 goals in all competitions for Dortmund. He got 13 Man of the Match awards as well and an average rating of 7.78, which isn't too bad at all. It was just 126 minutes per goal, which is not to be sniffed at. And overall, it was a very, very solid season for the Norwegian forward. Season 2 once again saw some impressive growth to Haaland's game. We saw his goal tally in all competitions increase to 33 goals, a goal every 102 minutes on the pitch. 27 goals in the league for the striker too and that form didn't go unnoticed as you can see Chelsea and PSG are after the forward but no Ballon d'Or win just yet but season three is where things start to get really exciting Erling Haaland completed a move to French giants PSG he moved to the French club for 102 million pounds from Borussia Dortmund and managed to smash in 32 goals in 41 appearances for the club and as you can see that form did not go unnoticed he won the FIFA Ballon d'Or after just three seasons his first season with PSG beating the likes of Martin Odegaard who is currently at Manchester United and Mohamed Salah who moved to Real Madrid to the award he was also in the FIFA team of the year heading up that attack alongside the likes of Eden Hazard, João Felix and Mo Salah. We do have to skip forward another few years though before Haaland's next big award. The Norwegian forward is still in France at PSG and now valued at around £89 million. Again, he's wanted by some of the biggest clubs in the world with Real Madrid marking Haaland as their primary target. The Norwegian striker struck 26 times in just 31 league games this season and that meant him picking up the Ballon d'Or award for the second time. After winning it in 2022, it took a few years but Erling Haaland has won it again in 2025, beating the likes of Moriba from Barcelona and Ansu Fati from the Spanish Giants too. As we move into the end of the 2026-27 season, Erling Haaland earned that big money move to Real Madrid. He's now valued at 129 million, which I don't think I've ever seen a player be worth that much on Football Manager before. You could class this one as a quiet season for his standards with just 19 goals, but still grabbed a goal every 117 minutes on the pitch for Madrid. This was another big year yet again though for the Norwegian forward a second consecutive Ballon d'Or award ahead of his Real Madrid teammate Kylian Mbappe and Nicolo Zaniolo who currently played for PSG. It'll be interesting to see how Real Madrid fit the likes of Haaland, Mbappe and Mo Salah into the same team though. They're currently playing a 4-3-3 system with just a lone striker so it'll be interesting to see if that restricts his game time slightly in game. We're now skipping forward another few years which means it has been 10 seasons since we first looked at Erling Haaland. He's progressed so well from Dortmund to PSG to now Real Madrid where he's scoring goals for fun. He's at 30 years of age now and just some of his attributes and his stats, what he's achieved has been unbelievable. It's been an unbelievable run of Ballon d'Or wins as well for Haaland. Winning it in 2025, 26, 27, 28, just missing out in 2029 and winning it in 2030. In 2029, a newly generated Spanish striker called Zebenzui for Manchester City ended up beating Haaland to the award. But the top three for the most recent award were all Real Madrid players. Erling Haaland finishing first, Mbappe in second and Jude Bellingham in third. What an incredible career though for Erling Haaland. International appearances 114, smashing in 103 goals. 
for Real Madrid, he scored 139 goals in five years, and for PSG, scored 130 goals in four years. But the awards he's just won across his career have been unbelievable. Of course, the Ballon d'Or six times. He was in the Team of the Year six times, won the European Golden Shoe on three occasions, uh, the Champions League forward of the season on four occasions. Interestingly though, despite all these Ballon d'Or awards, Haaland has never won the Champions League in his last 10 years. But folks, let us know in the comments section, do you think Erling Haaland will turn out to be this good in real life? He has smashed the records, he's won so many awards as a player, and of course got some big, big money moves to the likes of PSG and Real Madrid. Be sure to hit that like button down below, subscribe to the Squawker channel, and let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Until next time, we'll see you all very, very soon.